YouTube. So the uh, BBC 546s, which I was waiting for, um, have arrived. They arrived very shortly after uploading the first part of this video. Now I did um, I did some game checks. I don't know if you can see the numbers there. So I pulled out the closest numbers, four of them up, two, two uh, 313s. I put those there, I put the 314 there and 315 there. Sorry, that one there. So that's it, I've pushed on with that. The 3.3 half watt resistors I've decided to use two uh, 6.6s and just put them parallel to each other because um, these are quarter watts so yeah we've got a half watt dissipation I've made sure there's a gap between them as well you can see that gap look just to help oh, just to help with the um, with the heat dissipation so I'm going to carry on building this now and get on the next section which is going to be this driver here for this side then I'm just going to put some some power line expression on so I'm going to get cracked on with that and of course I'm going to make sure I put this <coughs> um, this bootstrap in of course getting to the potential divider for this uh, divider here so I'll crack on with that and let's see what it, oh first of all I'm going to clean up all the circuitry underneath here and cut it to the right size and solder and where I can and get myself worked up to this stage before I start putting the next lot on ok well I've got this far and Although it looks more done than what it is, these are not soldered and these are not soldered. So everything else is pretty much there. I've just got to figure all this out again mentally because there's still a little bit of um, got a couple of capacitors to put at the sides here or where I can get them in for this ground. Not quite sure if that's exactly where these are going to go. I've just I'm trying to keep everything in my mind um, and I've just managed to boil my kettle dry and kill that <laughs> I don't know why I didn't put the lid down but never mind at least I didn't uh, do what I normally do which is burn my dinners that's why I always cook everything in the oven now and I'm sick of going into my kitchen with the pans on fire and air enough smoke coming out everywhere but if that fits down there and it, and it will go on there that's uh, that's not looking too bad because then all I got to do is insulate give it a uh, give it a heat sink all right let's crack on so well I've got it pretty much all soldered apart from that green 100 nanofarads that's not soldered so I've just got to try and work out how much you're going to do that? So I'm going to put two 100 nanofarads in series. I'm going to put a um, a 100 microfarad between the connection between the two 100 nanofarads and coming down to ground. And I've also got to put a 10R uh, resistor between the 100 nanofarads and this side of these two resistors. So I've got a little bit of um, a little bit of gymnastics to do there with the with the wiring, but I've had to do a little bit of gymnastics on the back anyway, as you can see. And really doing it with those transistors the way they are is probably not the best way, but the um, the web page for the circuit does say you know, to use their board. And that's not terribly too bad. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave it. I'm going to set it to one side because one, I don't want to connect these in until I've really planned about how I'm going to do this. This uh, this 10R here, as you can see, look, this is all after these um, resistors. So, just going to have a little think about that because that's going to be clamped to the back of that. So everything's really got to be got to be this side and then just wired underneath but I'm gonna leave it for a little while now because I really want a cup of tea or coffee and of course I've killed my kettle so it's a saucepan job and I've got to watch that because 
I know what I'm like, I'll come in here and start playing with this and it's like 40 minutes later I'll go out and find my saucepan completely burnt, hell and welded to the top of the cooker. And of course giving it a break means I can come back, go over it again and probably have a bit of a refreshed idea of how I'm going to set this out. But so far so good. Okay, so there it is. Pretty much ready to go. Um, the output connector is here, the positive and the negative is here. You can hardly really see it the way it is at the minute. Where's my little pointy thing? I ain't got any pointy thing. I use this. So here, uh, where am I? There we go. This here is that, and this one here, oh, just here. This is the negative for the output. <clears throat> I'll go over it again. Look at it again tomorrow on the light of day. I'm not going to connect up now. I am just going to enjoy a well deserved beer. And go over all the connections tomorrow. Just check, double check, triple check. And then. Put the heat sink, heat 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 uh, heat heat sinks on. I'm just going to clamp a couple of small heat sinks to them. As long as they've got heat sinks, just back that out. It's going to clamp a couple of uh, small ones just uh, just to just to check it. Just to, uh, we're going to put some fuses in. I'm going to set up a little bit of a thing so it's got fuses and everything just to do some tests on the documentation. It's got a whole bunch of tests. Uh, well, not a whole bunch. There's a couple of a couple of checks. Got to get this quiescent current down here. Make sure that's set all the way to the maximum resistance. Um, if I read that correctly. But, wait till tomorrow now. Can I get a beer? Right guys, here's the scary bit for this. There's now... I'm going to try and test this out first. So I've set up the 35 volt. Um, yeah, 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 no, is that right? 25 volts to 35 volts. Yeah, we can get the maximum of that, right? 35 volts per channel, um, per rail. So we've got a positive rail, and we've got the, the negative rail. And this is the, um, the fingers, they're not weird. They're not, they're not weird in real life, but they're not weird in the camera. It's so probably use a pointy thing. And we got the, we got the negative. Now I've put some 22R 5 watt resistors on here because it tells me to um, to do some checks. Because what we don't want to do is pump. I haven't got a dual power. You know this is what I'm actually missing now. I used to have a dual power power supply, didn't I? So I could I could ramp this voltage up slowly and just checked for um, using too much current. And I don't know there was something wrong somewhere. But this way. What I gotta do is just basically connect this to here and that to there and just hope for the best. <laughs> oh wow. But so there's all the um the ground connections anyway, these brown ones. I took it off the, the last one and just added another wire. Because it's pretty much the same, um but it is near the same sort of setup, isn't it? But revised and hopefully much better. So this is the output positive, this is the output negative, and if these two touch it's just going to blow those output transistors, so we don't want that to happen. Just like on the old circuit on this one there's no output protection, so if you short the output you can say goodbye to your, um, these ones aren't that expensive, but the ones that I'm going to buy are pretty expensive, you would be able to say goodbye to those chips. I've got to try and get this quiescent current using this trim pot down to 20 milliamps. Um, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to be able to do that. I'm not even sure how you and I measure it. So, but the whole idea is to get it down. To 20 milliamps so I need to just go and do some more nosing to see exactly how I'm going to be measuring this so I know when I am on the 20 milliamp because it's all great it's saying get it to 20 milliamp but how I, I know using the pot yeah but how do I measure it 
how do I measure it? That's the thing, so. Uh, and then these are the only two heat sinks I can use for now, but they'll be all right. I'm not gonna try and crank this thing up or anything. Oh, you can't crank it up anyway when those resistors are there, because it would just, you know, they're, they're acting like fuses, but they're not fuses. I mean, if the fuses would just pop pretty much and these will just get hot and something on here will get hot and I just know to quickly disconnect it all and, and we'll see where we go from there um, so this is the scary bit to be honest with you this is the scary bit I can't put a load on it I'm going to be careful because I've got audio file cables look you can see there which means there's going to be some sort of plastic load on there as well and <sighs> Oh, I don't know what gets so complicated, eh? I remember the days where I'd just go to a shop and buy one of these things. I don't try and sit there like that and build one. So, you know, so far so good. It seems to be okay. Um, I'll show you the underneath once we've once I've tested it and it hasn't blown up. Just because it's going to be hard to turn it. Oh, no, it's not going to be hard to turn it over. Like this. It's just going to be a little wire out of the way there. So there's the underneath look. It's not a big horrible mess, but the, the the layout of it could have probably been a bit better. Um, but this is the first go at just sitting it on here, so I'm not particularly that worried. I don't expect it to be um, to the spec um, from here. Right, that's enough for me jibbing on. What we want to do is see what this thing, see what happens when you put some power to this. So let me just figure out how I'm going to get these to connect to this. I need to find a couple of little uh, connector things, but I'm going to put them on here and just shove those into the hole so I can quickly whip this out if I need to, because that's what we want. Right. Okay, so let's just turn this one up there. And we can have a little look at uh, what the voltages we've got coming out on. What's going on with this? Why does it look like I'm in the sunshine? Look at that, what's going on with that? It's weird. Let's put that up there or something. Can we see down there? Yeah, I just want to be able to see smoke. That's that's what I want to be able to see smoke, and smoke is going to happen. So let's just do a voltage check on this output first. It should be around about seventy volts. That's thirty-five volts per channel. It doesn't really matter which one I put these on here. Um, that's going to prove to be a bit awkward. So let me just put that. It's going to be a minus um, a minus that we have on the display. Thingy. Yep, this is going to be a bit awkward, but that's about right, I can't even get that in the hole. Right, now we're done. Right, go ahead in there, it says minus 48 at the minute, and that's because that's not been down. So now we go. Okay, so about 70 volts, okay? And that's what we want. We're on a 35 volts per channel, so now I'm going to connect in the in these two um, in these two resistors. But I'm not going to put the power back down. I'm just going to see if anything happens untoward when I connect in the two resistors. I did notice. I'm sorry, you didn't get to see it, but the little green light came on. The LED came on when I first connected into this. I presume it's because it's just sucked out the last bit of juice out of it, but nothing. Not that I'd be able to tell now anyway. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put the power on. Um, hopefully that's all I mean, pressed in there good enough. I'm going to put the power on and just see what happens. In case we got a green light, that's not just a bad thing. I'm going to take the power off for a second and just check. Just check that nothing's just gone really hot at all. Any of these transistors. Mm -hmm. Let's just get my finger onto this one. Doesn't seem to be any heat. So let me just put that back down there again. Just leave it a little bit longer this time. Fingers on these. Nothing. Nothing. Power transistor. Nothing. I can see smoke. I can see smoke. That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. That is not a good sign. That is not a good sign. No. Okay, so there's a problem somewhere. Now, these resistors 
I suppose they get a little bit warm, but they are very warm. That's a bit, a bit too warm. The wire is okay, but the resistor, and that resistor is very warm as well. well there's a good possibility. See, none of this is warm. None of these transistors are warm. But those two resistors, those, these two resistors, very warm. Very warm indeed. Now, I don't know how long I can leave that connected like that. Um, just got to be very careful with these. I know I was going to do a reading on the output of those, but obviously if it's going to be getting too warm there's something amiss there's something amiss I'm not quite sure what it is right I'll have to have a little have a little nose and feel about on the bottom bottom of the circuit not mine right well none of the transistors are getting hot these two these two are getting pretty hot at the supply voltage 35 volts per side these are getting hot, but nothing else is. Nothing on the bottom of the board's getting hot. None of the components are getting hot. Um, nothing is. So, I wonder why that's doing that. Now, I know that I can check the quiescent current by getting a voltage reading between here and... Um, Yeah, I'm going to have to sort of like go over this and go over it again and just double check. But at the minute, because the way it is, look, everything's upside down and the wrong way around. Um, so it'll probably be easy if I get it all turned back around the other way again. It's just that I need to shift this and pull it around so it'll come around the other side. Because I've got the power supply this side because all that stuff's here. And But really I need this over this side and put this here so I can keep it the right way up at least. And... Um, hmm. Right, well, because of the bits before this and because of this bit, this is going to be another sort of 10 minutes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this up and give myself another bit of time to look over this. It's a little saga of the power, but these, uh, these do get warm quite quickly, but the wires don't get warm. These do. And underneath on the board, it doesn't get warm. Nothing gets warm. There's no change in temperature on anything. These are actually cold, cold to touch. But nothing gets warm on here. And the little green LED still works. So there's nothing else. That's quite good, yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm. Just do it to check actually, see if that is still working. It says that we're only supposed to have about a volt, a volt on the uh, on there, but we've got more than a volt as you can see. The light does work. Just trying to see, you think they might get. A, it's slightly off warm. That is slightly. Uh, that one is a bit colder than this one. This one's got a little bit more warmth on it. Um, yeah, just need to go go through it again. So this is going to be a three a three a three stage thing at least by the looks of it. Um, yeah, and I'm going to come back when I got something and I figured this out. So I'll see you in the next one.